I'm Ryan Bumby, and today I'm going to review the Ava Multiband Compressor by Harrison Consoles. I'm going to do this pretty quick, so pay attention. If you want more detail, head over to AdmiralBumby.com or click the link in the description, and you can find out a lot more. So I have a competing multiband compressor here doing some light compression, as you can see. And if I jump over to the phase page, oh, hey, that is all over the place. Well, what does Ava Multiband Compressor do? With Ava Multiband Compressor loaded up, doing some fairly light compression, if I switch over to the phase page, we see that, oh, that is, that is very minimal. That looks almost like how an equalizer would look. So I wonder, I'll go ahead and store this, and then I took Fab Filter Pro Q3 and matched the response of Ava Multiband Compressor. And as you can see, it's pretty darn close. So when I switch over to the phase page, we see that it is the exact same thing as the equalizer. There's no crossovers in the signal path. So that means that Ava is some sort of dynamic equalizer. Let's see if we can find out more information. I have a sine wave sweep going across the whole frequency spectrum here. And what we can see is that all of the bands at Ava react. So there's no sort of internal crossover making each of these bands react to sound inside of that band. Another thing we can notice is that as it sweeps, even though the level is identical for the sine wave sweep, Ava reacts differently to high frequencies and low frequencies. And the response of the filters is different. The low and high filters respond differently than the middle range filters. That's rather interesting. Now I'm running a slightly different test. I'm running some pink noise through Ava, as you can see it responding over here. All of the band's thresholds are set the exact same. And I have Voxango Span Plus recording the results. And even though Ava is showing the low and high bands being compressed more, over here we can see that the low and high bands actually are letting more through. And the mid-range bands are mostly equal, with the low mid being slightly less aggressive and the high mid being much more aggressive. So that's yet another interesting result. It seems that perhaps the display is incorrect or it's not displaying what I think it is, but I can't figure out what it's supposed to be displaying in that case. So what does this all mean? Well, generally in a multiband compressor, like what Ava multiband compressor claims to be, the signal is split into bands via crossovers and then those bands are processed individually via normal compression methods. In a dynamic equalizer, the signal is split into bands via crossovers and then sent to envelope generators. However, that signal never makes it to your ears. The signal that's processed is processed by a set of filters, like in an equalizer, and the envelope generator controls the amplitude of those filters. This is similar to what Ava Multiband Compressor does. Ava Multiband Compressor sends your input to four envelope generators, but they do not go through crossovers, so the full signal controls each band. So it's like a dynamic EQ, but each of the bands is reacting to the full signal, rather than to a signal that's filtered to encompass only what would be inside that band. How is it to use? Well, it's actually pretty easy. On the left here, we have a slider that increases the input gain and then decreases the output gain so that you can feed all of the bands simultaneously with more by pulling this down or less, but doing that doesn't increase your output gain. Then we have band solo on each channel. We can mute each band by taking it out of the signal process. And each band has its own threshold. So this is actually reacting to the full signal, remember, not a band limited part of the signal that coincides with what you see. Each of the bands can have their sensitivity changed by changing the range. Each of the bands can go from a maximum of 0 decibels of gain reduction to 12 decibels of gain reduction. There is a global attack and release. There is not an attack and release for each band because remember, each band is listening to the full signal. There is a knee, which changes how aggressively the compressor acts, and we also have a real-time analyzer and a side chain here. This multiband compressor has a fairly unique analyzer that is also in some of the other Harrison products. So when we turn this on and start some music, you can see that it's very peaky. We can only see the absolute peaks of what's happening here. 
because there's only an 18 decibel range for this analyzer. We can change the decay, make it fast or very slow. We can make this post compression or pre compression, and we can trim the signal so we can get this just how we want it. There is also a scroll mode, which shows the signal in a different manner. X axis is frequency, Y axis is time, and we get the amplitude of each frequency by how bright it is at that point in time. This is a very, very useful analyzer that doesn't show you a bunch of information, it just shows you what you need to know to operate the plugin. I really, really like this part of this plugin. Another interesting feature is the sidechain capability. So I'm gonna start some music, and you can see we have typical sort of music going on here, but I have a bass drum routed to Ava Multiband Compressor right now. So when I click the external key button, now the kick drum is causing compression to happen on our music bed. So whenever the kick drum hits, then this acts. So I can set this up so that whenever the kick drum hits, my sound is side chained just in the low end and the higher frequencies are completely left alone. If you go to AdmiralBumblebee.com and search for dynamic equalizers or search this YouTube channel, then you will find some information about how incredibly useful this feature can be. So Ava Multiband Compressor is actually a pretty cool and unique little plugin. It doesn't work like other multiband compressors, even though it's called a multiband compressor. Um, it doesn't work like other dynamic equalizers, even though it is a dynamic equalizer. It's very gentle when you put it on. You can have extreme settings and you barely notice it's there but it still has a positive impact on the signal. Originally, when I interviewed XTMC, I hated it. It did not sound like a multiband compressor. It had very few features. It didn't do cool stuff I could do with other things to make sounds crazy. Um, I just hated it. And now that I've looked into Ava Multiband Compressor with a lot more detail, which you can see at AdmiralBubbleBee.com, uh, I have found that it's quite useful surprisingly because i totally expected to hate this thing so if you enjoy this and you want to continue seeing more videos of mine please subscribe to the channel if you have any comments about the plugin about my website about my youtube channel about me about anything comment below if you hated the video hit dislike if you liked the video hit dislike if you want to help me out hit subscribe and you can go to patreon.com slash Have a great day.